Beloved ones, let me take you now on a journey of awakening, of remembrance, for you are ready to fully reclaim the truth of your being as co-creator with me, as a living star of light, the great mandala of perfect love that is the pattern for the creative heart of God, I am. In order to be able to see this, you had to come to the place of choosing freedom, choosing release, your ties to the identity of the world, and even your ties to ideas of good and bad, until free to rise at last. I beckon you to come to me that I might hand to you the key at last to freedom, to co-creation beyond the dream, and then the understanding with your heart, with your being, with this love that we share, that we are, that is the truth of you. That we are not transforming the world, beloved ones. We are recreating it. And this difference is very important and profound, for transforming the world holds within it the idea that this world must be changed, redeemed, made different. The truth is that only thing that needs to change is the eyes with which you see it and the heart through which you live it. It is time to take on your mantle of the living Christ, the true power of the divine that lives within you and that you hold within your being. And to recognize that all you need is to lift up your vibration, to turn to me into the light, to open your heart, and to desire to leap free from the confines of gravity. Once you do, you are once again alive and conscious in the realms of the living spirit, ready to become the heart of God, that every moment creates the world. For as you truly know deep within you, there is only this moment now becoming. This moment is the creation of life. Your heart and your consciousness are what guides it into its full expression. As you have come into the realms of light and love and gained awareness of living here, then into your life, into the world, has come the momentum to launch you free and clear of what has also come in the awareness that you are ready to reach beyond all limitation, to become the freedom of God being created in glorious ecstasy in this eternal moment. So that choice that you now make as you stand in the world to be open heart of all of love, and the choice that you make to bring freedom into the world by being freedom's pure and open conduit, allows you to rise up to me and to become truly the experience of creation, bringing forth this life, bringing forth the gift of my relationship with all things. It is this moment that is held in you. You are the consciousness that unfolds it. You are that moment of potential where I choose to love and you choose to accept it, and relationship between us is born. It is magnificent, so powerful, that everything comes alive in a brand new way. All is changed and redefined and all the lines of possibility go streaming forth in a billion ways as the decision to love and be loved, to give love and to receive it, to allow this burning desire to give to be expressed between us and through the heart that you in conscious. In this moment that is ever happening, there can be one decision, and this decision creates a billion lines of light, a million billion waves of love's potential that go streaming forth to create this living cosmos. From this moment comes the experience that you call the world. It is the experience of the consciousness of God I am, believing itself to be somehow separate from the whole, from me, from the love, the light I am. So as you reach forth now from your position as the focus of this moment, I am asking you to let me bring you alive, bring you consciousness that allows the world to be recreated, to be created again in this moment. Thus do we embark on a great adventure that you and I may choose again a whole new moment when our relationship is born, turning those lines of possibility consciously into the streaming manifestation of light and love, dancing perfectly in this eternal circle of giving. Beloved ones, this new decision to be the open and receptive heart, 
and to allow this incredible miracle that you and I, while being one, can love each other. Let it bloom into something new that lives gloriously in you and thus comes forth into the world to create the world as love would make it and nothing else. Therefore, let me bring to you some possibilities for entering into this new agreement, for becoming the conduit for pure love and life held within the whole and ever part of it in full acceptance of this glory. Let me give you wings that you might fly free from your focus as a human being and rise into this holy communion that once again together we may choose new lines of possibility. When love decrees that it is perfect, we shall say together, so be it, and life is reborn in a new way. From where you stand, beloved ones, reach for me by opening your heart wider and wider until you feel this great inundation of joyous love and of my presence. And if you please, will open fully and say yes with your whole being. Then in this moment, our pure communion blossoms newly into being, and on the breath of your intention, we rise into the pure magnificence of streaming light and pulsing love, that you may see or you may feel it, or you may simply trust that I am bringing you ever upwards to the highest resonance of light and love. You will feel, you will know that blazing light, that love that is pulsing is the pure expression of creation itself, as the forces of creation come together and create the new expression of life that comes from deep within my heart that you are. We shall be in perfect love, yet ever able to see each other, and that living breath breathed in and out is our communion, ever giving and blessing all that is. As you feel this pure explosion of love and light, it may appear to you as an exploding star, it may be for you simply a pure light, or you may feel your heart humbled by its grace and power. Yet, right here in this now moment, I am reclaiming your heart's freedom from the misperception of any separation between us, that you might feel within your whole being the miracle of this life that you, my heart, are fully conscious, that you are breathing this shared breath. Yet we need only to love each other, and we have eternally this amazing gift of pure communion. Thus you stand again in the moment of creation, as the heart of God I am, as that which holds the light and lives the love, the coming together of what we now name masculine and feminine. The powers of life come forth as you, and you have the choice to give love and accept it in this harmony of grace with me. And this time you say yes and this now moment emerges as perfect, and from your heart streams a million billion rays of light, shot through with pulsing love. Each line is a line of possibility for expressing this amazing love we share in a million billion ways, all of which are woven together in the holographic, omnipresent joy that we share. From this truth, this choice, you now choose what you are creating, and with this choice, we emerge together in this moment comes understanding of how to bring this choice to be made manifest as the perfect expression of life around you. In this moment, you choose perhaps another stream of light other than the one that has been manifesting as your life on earth. You choose instead to be the heart of love, unimpeded with the perfect expression of whatever you choose to birth again in this moment. This choice can be the new creation of the world as love creates it, and the expression through your heart of this magnificent life that the power, the light, and the love together may bring it forth perfectly. You shall be the glorious conduit of the new creation of a world of love, that as you follow it into its expression, comes forth to show you your heart building the expression of life and love perfectly, following easily your choice your focus all the way here to where you are living as the heart of God, expressing perfectly a life of perfection and joy on earth. You will find that along the way, as you stream forth, you are remembering the two forces of life that are alive in your being, the twin flame heart that holds creation within it, that radiates along the spectrum of vibration until it touches the life of the world as it appears now. 
and brings into it new possibility that you then accord with your whole being and you consciously bring it to your heart to the world thus am I giving you a pattern beloved ones that you can use to be this creative force to join in the fullness of heart and consciousness with the moment that relationship in God comes forth that you might be its anchor in the world and the heart that effortlessly entrains it into the collective consciousness when you begin to call on me you may hold in your heart that which you would like to see reborn as perfect as you do so you will find that as you rise in this glorious and precious communion we share that insights will come as I guide you and lift you showing you at each level of the vibrational spectrum what needs to be reborn held in love redecided that once the connection with the moment of creation is made it blossoms through you as the recreation of these things that you have seen to be held in perfection through you the heart of God I am as these lines of possibility are chosen from the highest pinnacle as you stream forth as the star of the heart of love you will recognize that you are becoming a clear conduit for life's expression which you anchor in the world with your gratitude you also shall find as the world is recreated that you feel more fully the conscious energies of creation alive within you and that your communion with me becomes clearer and clearer as you joyously become the consciousness of the heart of God on every level in every expression and every resonance until everything that you experience is automatically brought to the pinnacle and your open heart through the will of love allows the shift to a new possibility a new streaming ray of life in that living now expression life is created once again this time with the circle of our love fully blossoming and gloriously intact that instant by instant according to your focus love in the world is remade Amen. Oh,